PanicAttackRecovery.com. You know what it's like to be in the throes of anxiety and panic. You enter the fight or flight mode, your heart and thoughts are racing, you go through a range of physiological and psychological experiences. The reason why the cycle of a panic attack and anxiety continues is because you continue to feed the symptoms by doing whatever it is you habitually do when you become anxious. You see, we all have habitual behaviors we carry out when we are anxious. But you can break the cycle by focusing on an insightful observation of Dr. Carl Jung. And he said, what you resist persists. Let's look at an analogy of this. If you grab one end of a rope and I grab the other and we tug in opposite directions, there's obviously stress on the rope. If we are both tugging on the rope and suddenly let go, what happens to the stress on the rope? The stress disappears. This is precisely the case with anxiety if you stop resisting. You can stop resisting by using a suggestion of Shirley Swede. She advised just stopping whatever you are doing in the moment when you feel a panic attack coming on. As I said, we all have habitual behaviors we carry out when we are anxious. Your typical reaction might be to pace back and forth when you start to feel a wave of panic, or perhaps you hyperventilate. According to Swede, you must stop doing whatever you are doing. This might sound simple, but you really have to give it a try to see how you can reap the benefits. The suggestion cannot work unless you give it a sincere try. I don't think you'll be disappointed once you do so. PanicAttackRecovery.com